Hey everybody, Siki here, and I'm coming to you guys with another video, and I'm super excited per the use. Now, Makeup Forever recently, no, not even recently, I think a year or two ago, honestly, Makeup Forever came out with these Ultra HD concealers. Now, I did a video on, I think, a get ready with me for an event, a Makeup Forever event, and at that event, they had launched the concealers, but what they did was they launched like five or six shades for fair and medium skin tones, and they hadn't yet released any for us deeper skin girls, right? And so they said that they were trying to perfect the formula, that they were definitely coming out with some, right? So let's fast forward. They came out with deeper shades and they came out with correctors for deeper skin tones. So I had received the corrector and then I received some other shades, but they weren't my appropriate shade to like highlight with or conceal with, so I wasn't really using them. But if you guys have followed me for some time here on the tube, the tube, then you know that I've been using the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Corrector in the shade R50 for a minute. As a matter of fact, it's kind of flattened, but I got some news for you. I got a new one. They sent it and I'm so excited. So I'm not gonna swatch that yet because I already have one open. So I believe I have the whole collection which consists of 14 shades, which I'm gonna swatch here for you guys because I understand the struggle and I know the struggle is real. Whenever I wanna buy a concealer, whenever I wanna buy a foundation, it is super duper helpful to see the whole collection swatched so I can see the undertone, so I can see the shade, because it's very important that not only that we get our correct shade, but that we get our correct undertone, right? So if you guys, again, have followed me for any length of time, whenever I get like a full range of foundations or whenever I get a full range of concealers, I totally try to give you guys like a review. I try to give you guys swatches and I try to give you guys a demo. Now, I've already used the corrector like 50,000 times. So I'm, I guess I'll demo that too, cause I'm rocking it today. But in this case right here, I freaking love the corrector and I know that it's not extremely matte. It is a little bit hydrating, but it's not hydrating like the Too Faced Born This Way at all, okay? But I feel like I will get a little bit of creasing, but I love the formula of the corrector. I have not yet tried the actual concealer shades until today. And man, it is extremely flawless. I actually blended it with the Tarte Shape Tape because I could not find a shade that was similar to the Tarte Shape Tape in Deep that I love. So I went ahead and used this. Plus it's a little bit matte, so I like to mix this with a more hydrating type concealer, you know what I mean, to balance it out a little bit. And in place of my Too Faced Born This Way concealer, I did use the shade Y41 because they are extremely similar. And as I was blending it out, I was like, Okay, makeup forever. So, I mean, because I love the corrector and because the corrector works so great and I use it all the time, I'm pretty sure these concealers are just as great. So I'm gonna come to you guys with some swatches. I'm gonna tell you the shades and then I'll give you a little close up, give you a demo and a rum uh, We're gonna wrap this thing up, all right? Disclaimer, right now. Don't even judge me for these swatches because I don't know what is about to go down. I don't see a name of it, it's just the number, but I will try to get the specs and everything for you. But it is called Invisible Cover Concealer, all right? So this one is Y. 21 right there and i will do a close-up at the end all right guys and this one right here is y23 right here this is y31 and this one right here is y33 i don't think i lined them up properly so they may look a little bit out of order as far as the colors are concerned but as far as the numbers i went with the number scheme so yeah that's what we're getting now this is y49 now actually that may be that may be my skin tone exactly. So if I wanted to use my exact skin tone, I can. This is my first time swatching the whole thing. I did receive a couple of them in the mail before, as I told you guys, but those shades didn't really match me. But this is my first time swatching the whole collection. This one is Y51. And that one is R20. Oh, see, I told you about the swatches. That's, okay, right here is R22. R30. These are gonna come in handy when I do makeup. Now this one is in R32. I think this is a corrector shade too. This one right here is R40. Whoa, that's the deepest one too. That's pretty deep. Now it doesn't look that deep in the tube, but it is extremely deep. I like that. 
That is R52 right there. These are all the swatches together, but I promise I will give you a close up. This is one of my beloved correctors that you guys see in videos all the time. And this is R50. And oh my gosh, there are a few correctors that I love. And this happens to be one of them, like for sure, for sure. Like no doubt about it, but they expire after six months and it has 0.23 ounces in it which you don't want it to have a whole lot of product in it, especially if it's gonna expire in six months. Now I'm gonna keep it all the way real. I probably have had this longer than six months and I'm still using it. So do that at your own discretion, okay? But there is our 50, oh, my beloved corrector. And this is Y41. This is the one that I use today as a highlight mixed with my Tarte Shape Tape in Deep. And I am gonna put the Too Faced Born This Way concealer next to it. This is closest to the shade tan. So that's why I was like, I'm gonna use it. So, and I'm kind of running out of this one too. So thank the Lord for this one because they work, they both work really great. I love this product. It is really creamy. I'm really impressed by the concealer because I've been using the corrector for so long. This is my first time actually using the concealer under my eyes and rocking it as a highlight. It definitely brightens. I use my banana powder on top, my Ben Eye Banana Powder, and it's still looking good. No complaints at all, you guys. So just in case you guys were contemplating getting this concealer, but you were kind of stumped because of the color range or the color shades, I'm here to help you, okay? Hashtag sharing is caring, all right? So y'all know I gotta bring out my handy dandy phone. Now I'm on Makeup Forever's website and it says that it's an Ultra HD concealer. It's 2016 Allure Best of Beauty winner for the best concealer for under eye circles. Get it, Makeup Forever. Makeup Forever. Ultra HD concealer is the ultimate dark circle corrector and concealer. Ultra HD concealer allows you to color correct with our red undertone shades and conceal dark circles and brighten with yellow undertone shades. Use our shade finder to find your perfect shades. I did not know that you could do that. It says anti-dark circle complex with radiance booster. Radiance, I told you guys it kind of brightened it and made it pop. It says radiance booster stimulates collagen to refresh under eyes. The formula reflects light to erase shadows and fills and smooth lines and hyaluronic spheres help hydrate the skin. Told you guys it was a little hydrating and I didn't even have to read that to know that. I can tell because y'all know that my under eyes, they be tripping sometimes, so I could tell it was a little bit hydrating. This easy blend, told y'all it blends easy, long wearing formula illuminates the eye area, told y'all, for a fresh look, and it's medium coverage, and it's for all skin types. I have not used it by itself, but I probably will use the shade that is for my skin tone by itself, or you know what I may do next time? I may mix another brighter shade with my actual skin tone shade. So stay tuned in you know, my upcoming tutorials, because I will be doing a get ready with me using a bunch of new products. I'm going to be doing a get ready with me using a bunch of Lancome products. Also, you guys, this look that I'm rocking today is a bridal makeup look that I just filmed. So be on the lookout for that. And also be on the lookout because I recently enrolled in an online makeup school and I want to show you guys the makeup kit that I received from them. And I want to tell you guys all about my experience. So we're about to have a whole lot of fun up over here. Okay. So make sure that you join the family. All right. But that is it. You guys, I love you guys so much. You guys are awesome. You rock. Don't forget to thumbs up if you enjoyed this video or it helped you in any way. Have an awesome blessed day and I will see you sooner than you think. Bye. this is key. You know what I mean. A woman feels good when she's looking pretty. I don't need no Benz, Lexus, or a Range Rover. Just give your girl a bomb, CQ Beauty makeover. Confidence is key, ladies, you know what I mean. Or maybe her eyeshadow and mascara will help you see. Check out her foundation and the blush on her cheek. Yeah, we ain't playing games, it's the CQ Beauty. Yeah, CQ Beauty.